More than 90% of world's most advanced chips are produced by one company, but maybe this is about to change. Hi, welcome back to Silver Scoop. In this video, we'll take a look at the current situation regarding Taiwan Silicon Shield and the global chip industry. For more scoops on the tech industry and global economy, hit subscribe before we proceed. We're getting more and more reliant on semiconductor chips as much as we have been relying on oil. And a single company holds a global monopoly in them. Perhaps you haven't heard of Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. However, evidence of its chipset's prevalence is ubiquitous. The iPhone, the computer, the fridge, the car, and the fighter jets are all examples. TSMC, which is located on the northwest coast of Taiwan, manufactures 92% of the world's most advanced chips. It's one of only two companies alongside Samsung that mass produces chips at a size smaller than 10 nanometers. The length of a transistor is measured in nanometers. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter in length. Electric currents are controlled by tiny switches 10,000 times thinner than a human hair. All are the transistors, the more of them can be crammed into a given space. More transistors mean a better chip and more powerful device. It is extremely difficult to manufacture semiconductor chips the size of a fingernail. Each tiny chip contains up to 50 billion transistors. Cutting silicon wafers into individual chips is a first step in the process. Wafers are thin slices of semiconductors that resemble mirrors. Throughout the process, employees are to wear protective gear. A single dust particle landing on a wafer could ruin the entire batch. Making a chip involves etching intricate patterns into a wafer, one layer at a time. The layers are made by applying a light-sensitive chemical to the wafer. Copper wires transmit electricity between the different layers. How, then, did Taiwan Semiconductor come to hold such sway? Since silicon is used to make the majority of chips, the fundamental technology that gave Silicon Valley its name was actually developed in America. A third of the chips in the world were produced in the United States in the 90s. Yet, None of the more sophisticated chips are produced in the U.S. these days. In the past, businesses like Intel produced and designed their own chips. However, American businesses began to face competition from Japanese businesses in the 1980s, and they decided to outsource some parts that were hurting their profits, like the expensive factories that make semiconductor chips Chris Chang recognized this pattern and responded. Born in China, he came to the U.S. in 1949 and studied at Stanford University, where he received his Ph.D. in electrical engineering. He worked his way up the ranks at Texas Instruments for 25 years before the government of Taiwan offered him a position overseeing the country's semiconductor industry. Saw a great opportunity to start a chip making company. TSMC was established in 1987. Chang sold the chips at a loss at first in order to get a larger share of the market. He expected that once production costs were reduced, he would be able to turn a profit. His strategy was a resounding success. Apple, Intel, Qualcomm, Advanced Micro Devices, NVIDIA, Huawei, and Tesla all rely on TSMC. 90% of the world's high-end chips and 65% of all semiconductors are currently manufactured in Taiwan, making Taiwan an essential contributor to the global economy. It seems to give Western countries like the U.S more reason to protect Taiwan from military threats from China, since they need Taiwanese semiconductors. TSMC's Fab 21 facility in Arizona will begin producing chips using advanced 4 nanometer processes in 2024. The new facility to handle 3 nanometer processes is expected to open in 2026. 
This will bring TSMC's U.S. investment to $40 billion, one of the largest in history. The Washington Post reported in April 2021 that Taiwanese ships were used in the missiles that China had pointed at Taiwan, though the Taiwanese government has denied this. This shows how dependent China is on Taiwanese semiconductors. It is believed that Taiwan's dependence on Taiwanese semiconductors in China's supply chains serves as a deterrent to a Chinese invasion of Taiwan. Taiwan Silicon Shield refers to the island's ability to encourage Western powers to defend the country and deter an invasion by China. Taiwan considers it crucial for national security to preserve its competitive edge in semiconductor manufacturing. But after the COVID-19, there has been a new push toward resilient and diversify supply chains as the world has become more aware of its reliance on Taiwanese semiconductors. This has brought about more heated political debate about the sector in Taiwan. Because TSMC is investing more in the U.S. and planning to build its plants, there are worries that the U.S. will put pressure on the company to move key facilities and employees out of Taiwan which would nibble away at the benefits of their silicon shield. Besides, KMT legislators claim that TSMC's fab construction in the U.S. would aggravate Taiwan's issues with the brain drain to the U.S. They claim that if an Intel factory were built nearby, TSMC would lose out on talent as Intel would be able to pay five times as much as TSMC. TSMC has stated that it intends to keep its key facilities advanced processes in Taiwan. For instance, the company plans to construct this one nanometer plant in Sinchu. Even so, the KMT has raised more and more doubts about the Chai administration's decision to build the Arizona plant. In the challenging manufacturing process that goes into making chips, TSMC is without a doubt unmatched. However, it is now caught in the crossfire between the two superpowers. The CHIPS Act was signed into law by President Biden in August, which prohibits American subsidy-receiving companies from supplying China with sophisticated chips smaller than 28 nanometers. Washington is giving $52 billion in subsidies to companies like TSMC to get them to build semiconductor plants in the U.S. In 2024, one is to open in Arizona, but it will still only make up a small part of chip production around the world. Simultaneously, there's been a meteoric rise in Chinese chip innovation. Chinese companies by 2020 had not yet achieved 40 nanometers. It's been reported that SMIC, a major Chinese chip manufacturer, has made a 7 nanometer chip. According to Tech Insights, the chip was designed specifically for use in cryptocurrency mining. China has made it a top priority to develop its homegrown semiconductor industry, lavishing incentives on chip firms such as exempting them from corporate income tax for 10 years if they produce the most sophisticated chips. Taiwan Semiconductor remains the world's leading chip maker for the time being. Its chips are smaller in size by 2 nanometers than China's. And by 2025, it promises to begin producing ultra-advanced 2 nanometer chips. That means you could go 4 days without charging your phone. The US needs TSMC as much as China does. The prominence of Taiwan semiconductors in the global economy may be the best defense the island has against a potential invasion as geopolitical tensions arise. If TSMC does end up constructing facilities in the United States, do you think that will weaken the country's silicon shield, or is it that having the US-based chip-making facilities will help diversify the global supply chain? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to see more like this. You'll enjoy this one as well.
Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.